Hey, what's up everyone? We're back with another quick tip in Cubase. This one I saw on a live stream today and I'm gonna shout out the composer who taught me this trick. It was one of those aha moments when the light bulb just goes on. You were like, why didn't I think of that before? So let's just jump into it. Here we go. So yeah, I was watching a Dirk Alert's live stream. He's a composer and he does live streams where he does full compositions and he also is a great teacher of comp composition and he uses Cubase as well. But then I saw him, he was doing a very uh, thick orchestral composition with lots of percussion and he wanted to end a particular part with a riser. And if you don't know what a riser is, this is, uh, this is essentially what a riser sounds like. So he had a riser like that that he just added to the end of one of his sections to sort of emphasize the end. And you can find risers in the media bay if you hit the F5 key on your keyboard, or I think, yeah, in the, under the media menu, you go to media bay. You know, you can just search for riser, and I think that Cubase has a few risers uh, that you'll find in the media bay. So. That one's a little more harsh than the one that I've chosen, but uh, so this was his trick. He said, you know, you have this riser, but if you want to add movement to it, all you need is the scissors key, which you get by hitting the three on your keyboard or, you know, clicking this right here. And so this riser, it goes two bars till it hits its full. And this is what he did. He switched this to use quantize the snap uh, and then eighth notes and sort of in the second bar here you just sort of create a few cuts and then we'll do a bar of 16th notes and then we'll switch it to 32nd notes for the last little bit and just make all these cuts and then it sort of, you know, ends there. So what you do is you switch to your selection tool and you grab all the pieces that you just cut. And then you turn off snap and you just sort of pull it back. And what you get is a little stuttering motion effect for your risers. And I'd never uh, thought of this before, but the second I saw it, I was like, that's ingenious. It's uh, a brilliant thing to do. So let's listen to the whole riser in context. Okay, and that may be a little too long, so we can uh, grab everything again and make it a bit shorter so it's less stuttery. And we'll see what we get with that. And so very quickly, just by cutting and removing some of the uh, audio, you can get these really cool stutter effects with risers. And I'm sure that it would work with a lot of different other audio as well. And I just never thought to do something like this before. And so shout out to Dirk Ehlert, the composer. I'm gonna link his channel down below because he taught me this by watching his live stream. And that's why it's good to watch other people work. You never know what sort of techniques that they've developed you know, over their long and illustrious careers that you may be able to incorporate into your own workflow. So this this has just been a quick video with a quick tip. I hope you guys find it useful. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Peace.